20 for 20. My name is Christine Robinson with the Elks National Foundation. And today I am joined by Sarah Harper, a 2020 top 20 most valuable student scholar. She is sponsored by Athens, Tennessee, Lodge number 1927. And Sarah is a top winner and she'll receive a $50,000 scholarship to pursue college over the course of four years. And thank you so much for joining us today, Sarah. Thank you. So first up, can you just introduce yourself and tell us where you're from? So I'm Sarah Harper. I'm from Loudoun, Tennessee, which is actually about 20 minutes away from the Athens, Tennessee Lodge. And we're in East Tennessee, just south of Knoxville. And um, where are you going to go to school and what will you study? I'll be going to the University of Tennessee, Knoxville, and I will be studying industrial engineering. How did you choose that field of study? Well, it started with my grandfather. He was a tool and die maker. And then my father was an engineer. He still is. He's done everything from quality engineering to manufacturing engineering. And I was actually at one of the places he used to work when I was in maybe first or second grade. And I saw these machines and they were building machines. And I just thought that was the coolest thing. And I had several other, you know, career plans. I want to be blank when I grow up. And when it came time to get serious, I was like, I want to make those machines that make machines. That, that's so cool. I love that the history of how you made that choice goes back to first grade and that connection to your family is really neat. Thank you for sharing. And we'll be excited to see how pursuing that um, field of study goes. So as an Elk Scholar, we know that um, service is really important to scholars. So what does service mean to you specifically? To me, service just really means helping those around you and bringing those up. I feel like too many people do service to look good on a college application and things like that. But it's really about bettering the space around you. And sometimes you can go as far as bettering the world. Um, many, I've, I know many students, some of the other Elk Scholars have like national and international service projects. And that's really incredible because you just have to know that, you know, no matter how small you seem, your reach can just go worldwide and just help others. That's great. And um, what is something that you're most proud of academically or outside of academics, extracurriculars? Um, I believe the thing I am most proud of is being the drum major of my high school marching band. That's another story that goes way back when I couldn't decide if I wanted to join band or not in fifth grade. I saw um, Drum Corps International and I saw one of the few female drum majors pull her baton out of her collar and I said, I want to do that. And I, I joined band basically to become a drum major and then I learned that that position, especially at my school, is so much more than con like conducting the band on the field. There's so much more leadership that goes into it behind it. There's so much more service. We stayed and cleaned out the concession stand for hours upon hours. I gave kids rides to and from the school on competition mornings, things like that. You ha really have to build a family and that's what I'm most proud of is building my band family. That's awesome. I love that, as you said, that you that goes back to when you were in fifth grade. And you can totally see the visual of like what you were experiencing when you had the realization that you wanted to pursue something like that. So awesome. And uh, what will being an Elk Scholar allow you to do? Definitely a lot of networking and it will set a precedent for service that I need to continue throughout my life. It will definitely make sure that I personally follow through with my community service goals because there's so many incredible service opportunities afforded to those being Elk Scholars. And it'll just give me a community, you know, they said back at Leadership Weekend, it's a family no matter where you go. And I just can't wait to reach out and meet more. I don't know how many are going to be at my school but I'm sure I will run across them everywhere throughout my professional life as well. Yeah, and that statement about it being an Elks family is, is true. There's um, so much connection that happens within Elks Scholar um, networks, and it's really neat to see how Elks Scholars will reach out to each other and become connected way beyond what they, they can do in one weekend. So that's really nice that you'll be looking forward to the networking and connections. And um, what were you doing 
when you found out that you were a top 20 MBS scholar? Um, I think the email came through at about three in the afternoon um, where I where I am. I had, of course, up until like maybe a week before I'd been checking my email, you know, watching like a hawk. And then the second I stopped checking my email three times a day, the email comes through and I was upstairs in my room and I was, you know, taking my phone off the charger. I looked down and I was like, no way, no way. And of course I ran downstairs and I told my parents, I called several teachers. I was, it was about eight or 9 PM at night. You know, I was waking everybody in the house up. I was like, oh, you will not believe, you will not believe. <laughs> so very excited. That's awesome. And then, um, yeah, it's really cool to hear like where someone is when they found out about the scholarship because I think everyone has has kind of a similar story, but it's just that excitement comes through. So thank you so much for sharing. I love that you called teachers too to let them know. That's so sweet. And um, what was your favorite part of the top 20 virtual leadership weekend? It was the first time that that happened virtually and it was really cool to see all those connections um, still coming through even though it was on Zoom. So what, what about that weekend was your most favorite part? I feel like I have two favorites. Um, I really enjoyed the discussion amongst all of us because it was so interesting to see how we actually, the 20 of us had really similar like thoughts and ideas despite being from everywhere across the country. Um, so that was very interesting. And then another thing was just like hearing about the other scholars and what they have done in high school and the opportunities that have been afforded to them like one of them is like they have has like an organization of his own um you know another one is competing in all these clubs that aren't even available anywhere near me it's just so interesting to hear about the opportunities about students from across the country yeah i think that uh we always as staff we always are so impressed with everything that all of the scholars are doing and so well, to hear that you're also impressed with what your fellow scholars are doing is really cool because it, it is impressive. You, you all ha have achieved so much already. So it's great. And um, okay, so you're the top winner and you so you had your interview virtually and then um, what, con just congratulations on winning the top award. And then we're, we're so proud of you. And what was it like when Colleen called you? Well, that's really funny because I missed her first call. And apparently, I think the other top winner did. So when he was trying to call back, she was on the phone with me. I think it's how the story, because I was texting him afterwards. Um, so I got, I got the call. I was actually outside. I was packing up my horse and getting ready to ride. And, you know, if she would have called just a second later, I wouldn't have been able to call her back for like an hour. And... Um, so I check my phone, you know, before I get on, I'm looking, I'm like, oh, that's a weird area code. And so I call, I called back and she was like, so I have something special to tell you. And I was like, oh, okay. And I'm like, okay, third place, strong third place. I know I got third, strong third. And she was like, so you're our top winner. And I think I fell over maybe. And then I ran in the house screaming, the horse has got to wait. My poor horse, she was just standing there. She was like, I thought we were going for a ride. And nope, <laughs> I went running in so fast. That's, that's great. <laughs> I love the, the, your horse was involved because I know you're so passionate about your horse. And that's so cool that you were in that moment and then you got pulled into finding out you're winning the top award. So thank you for sharing. That story is also very awesome to hear. Um, so I think you've talked a lot about this in the different ways that you've been involved with service and with um, band, but what makes you an Elk Scholar? How do you embody being an Elk Scholar? I think one of the main things that makes me an Elk Scholar is definitely my diversity in service. It's very easy for somebody to complete service to just one organization or just one cause. And I think doing the whole nine yards, so to speak, to benefit your community and everyone around you is really one of the things that embodies diversity and service. Some of the things I've done, I've done environmental pickup through ROTC. We actually have the adopt a highway. We have a couple miles of road and we go out and clean that. 
Um, we work with Smoky Mountain Service Dogs to actually raise money for this organization that gives service dogs to veterans and trains them. You would not believe how much a dog could cost a service dog, several thousand. It's really incredible. So we do that, um, feeding hungry children, raising money for hungry children in my community, which unfortunately there are quite, quite a few. Um, it's just, yeah, diversity in service and always thinking of the bigger picture. What are all the ways you can help, not just what are, you know, the, what is the one way, all the ways? Yeah, I think that um, your service has very much aligned with what Elks are passionate about and how they are looking to help build stronger communities um, through ENF programs. So I think that that obviously very much aligns and it is, it is about a whole community in, in a sense. So um, what is something that you're passionate about outside of academics? Um, one thing I've recently found myself passionate about is voter registration and making young political voices heard. Um, I read a statistic, and I don't remember the exact numbers, but it was a very low number of college students, especially out-of-state college students, actually vote. And very few people in my generation, you know, younger people, vote in local and state elections. It's all about the big shebang. It's all about the president, right? And, you know, time and time again, you hear, what happens on the local level? Does not matter? Like, what does a county commissioner do? And, you know, you can't allow that mindset to continue because these people are going to have children. And then these children are not going to be informed citizens. And these children are going to say, what does a com county commissioner do, you know? And so I think definitely on the college level, I would like to pursue something I can do on my campus to encourage voter registration, whether it be like a registration drive or in informative poster, something like that to definitely get young voices heard on both sides, both parties, it doesn't matter. We just need to make sure all the voices are heard. Awesome, very topical. And, um, okay, my last question is, if you could say anything to the Elks, what would you say? I've said thank you 18 times, but definitely thank you and I, I wish more people knew about all of the good things the Elks do. And I would have had no clue about this scholarship if not for my ROTC instructor. She would like, hey, you know, my granddaughter got this scholarship. She was, I think, one of like the top 400, 500. Um, and she was like, maybe you should try it, you know, make sure you do it. I think you'll get something. Um, obviously, I didn't expect to get a lot of something. <laughs> but um, definitely, I just wish more people knew. And continue to expand. I've had several questions. Who are the Elks? What are the Elks? What do they do? What is an Elk scholarship? And I'm like, oh boy, let me tell you, the application is not even that hard. <laughs> so yeah, definitely that. Great. Well, yeah, every, our audience will see this and they will hear you say um, your thanks. So a lot of people will get to hear that. So thank you so much for sharing. Um, and thank you for joining us today. And we're so proud of you and we're so happy that you're able to represent the Elks as the top 20, 2020 scholar. So thank you it's so much. It's a mouthful, isn't it? I know. So many 20s. <laughs> I, if I break it up, if I say top 20 MBS, 20, no, 2020 top 20 MBS scholar. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So thank you, Sarah. Thank you so much for joining us, like I said, and we're so proud of you. And thank you to all of our viewers for tuning in and meeting Sarah virtually. If you liked the show, hit the like button below and be sure to subscribe to the ENF's YouTube channel. And thank you for helping us build these stronger communities and connecting with your hashtag Elks family. We'll see you next time. Bye.